So welcome to the Now Time Impasse book series. Our core focus for this uh, call is uh, it's time to accelerate your empathic experience now. Uh, I am the Ali Nicole Wow, and I am an empathic preneur, empire advisor. I'm really thrilled uh, to have both empathic genuine power enhancer, Gina Gardner, and also uh, empathic power awakener, um, Brenda Jacobson. They're endeavoring uh, with me once again to bring forth a powerful series. And we're going to have a brief discussion about um, this core focus and then share our related uh, publications for this area. So thank you, uh, Gina. And Brenda, once again, for this uh, collaboration. Great to be with you both, ladies. Yeah. Looking forward I'm to it today. Yeah. Definitely, definitely. Um, as I said, I'm thrilled <laughs> because I know the work that we've, you know, continued to do, you know, for the empathic uh, community and, and just the importance. And of course, we're going to be talking about something very important. Uh, as it relates to the acceleration. So let's, you know, let's dive right in and start talking about that. Um, how important acceleration is during this time, um, you know, for impact. You know, there's this saying that there's no better time than the present. But in the case with most impacts, there's no better time than 15 yesterdays ago. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so acceleration uh, is, is really required. And as you both have heard me teach and uh, been a part of teaching on uh, the new empathic encoding and that empaths within the new encoding are accelerated beings and it is really part of uh, the new DNA. And so as we are focusing on the now time empath and that particular vibration, I would love to hear you know, from both of you, just your thoughts about why empath should um, not only be evolutionizing their experience, but accelerating, you know, their journey, you know, at this point. And so I guess um, what I'll have you both do uh, as you share is, you know, share your future publications, of course, for this area and then talk about a little bit of uh, the, the primary goal that you want for impasse to achieve, you know, with uh, the particular work, a uh, work that you share. So um, who would like to go first? <laughs> Brenda, why don't you go first this time? I, I was going to say, I can step up this time. Okay, um, I, I, yeah, I love this concept of a weight or of acceleration mm -hmm. because it's not something that we're choosing. It's something that is already happening and yeah. our choice is whether we're going to step in to it or get left behind. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm, right mm -hmm. now, the earth is going through a photon belt that is bringing mm -hmm. different vibrations of light into the planet and, planet, mm -hmm. and it's changing our DNA, whether we like it or not. It's mm -hmm. changing. It's awakening mm -hmm. parts of us that have never been awakened before. This only happens once every 12,000 years. And every time it does, there's a huge leap in evolution. Yes. We're in the midst of that right now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, empaths just have to step up or they're going to get left behind. Um, so I'm really excited to be here at this exact time. And like you said, the time is right now to yes. be doing that. Um, the work that I do, I help, I help people level up, step into that. Yes. What holds them back is, is the, um, what holds them back is attachment. You know, if you're yeah. attached to the old way of being, the old way that you operated, and which many of us are, we, we come up from that world of being attached to our own stories, to our own, mm -hmm. um, to the past. Um, and that's what's going to, that's the resistance that, that is going to hold you in place. Mm -hmm. And what we have to do is move people into that alignment with this new energy. Yeah, right, right. Um, and which is, which is. Not as hard as it seems. It's one of those things where it's not something that you try to do. You just let go of trying not to do it. <laughs> yeah. And step into just yeah. aligning with that new energy. Just, but again, it's the awareness of it being there. Right. Um, and what you have to do. Uh, for me, I just, every time I find that resistance, I'm a kayaker. 
So all I do is think about turning my kayak around, putting my oar down and just letting myself go, just allowing. And that's the next step is how do you allow yourself to just step into this flow and be carried along by what is already happening? Um, and then, and then that's where the acceleration happens is when you can, you know, when you can align with the new energies, allow yourself to just go with, with where these energies are taking us. Yes. And that your speed of, of evolution will, will pick up the acceleration. Absolutely. Beautifully so, stated. Beautifully yeah. stated. So, yeah. So let's hear about your publication uh, for this area. The, the publication I have is I love working on 28 day cycles. I think it takes mm -hmm. that to, to establish new habits and to mm -hmm. really through some of this stuff. So most of my are, are intentional journals that mm -hmm. take you through different exercises, different levels um, through that 28 days. So, the one for the acceleration is um, just really accelerating your awakening, that awareness, yes. that wake up call, you know, stepping into that new light mm -hmm. and, um, and going with the flow. So I've got a 28 day, um, there's, there's education in there and then there's um, just exercises, conscious exercises to build that awareness and take you along the journey. Yes, wonderful. Yes, excited uh, because, um, yeah, as you said, it's happening regardless. Um, and that's what a lot of people don't understand, particularly impacts, is that this is not about a, a self-paced uh, progression. The, the evolutionary impulses have been uh, chronically beaming and speeding up everything to catch humanity up with the evolution. Yeah. And it is something that has been occurring, but now empaths feel it more, um, especially within the body, you know, and different yeah. things uh, of that progression. But it is the call to accelerate, the call to evolutionize um, in the most accelerated ways so that we can match the higher frequencies of this newer world, because it's going to take being in that calibration um, in order to yeah. be able to be effective um, and, and sustain, <laughs> honestly. So um, yeah. thankful for your, you know, thankful for your work. And I do want to mention that all of uh, the works that we will be sharing and information about um, the three of us is going to be uh, in the description box. So you'll be able to find um, those resources and the information there. Thank you, Brenda. You're welcome. Um, so, Gina would love to hear uh, from you. Thank you. I want to share with people, accelerate your empathic potential. Mm -hmm. Because it's really interesting. It's a real paradox. When you speak to empaths, they are very clear that they have a divine purpose. Mm-hmm. And yet there's a paradox because they recognize that they have a divine purpose. For some, it's very well defined and for others, they're in the process of defining it. Mm -hmm. But there's, the paradox is that very often their poor self-worth means that they believe that they can't broadcast what it is that they're here to do. And they hold themselves small. They, they make tentative um engagement with helping people but it's on a very very small scale and when you talk to them and say do you get results with the people you work with yes great results and so when you challenge people around how about doing that on a bigger scale helping more people you have the capacity to do that if you believe it if you actually give yourself the opportunity to do that and they like the idea, but unless and until they let go of having this, make the story their reality, the story that I'm not good enough, I can't do this, I need to know every little thing and it's got to be perfect before I can get started. All of those things actually um, act as somebody having a, you know, a belt that keeps pulling, a chain that keeps mm -hmm. pulling them back into the old way of being. And one of the things that I've learned from you is if you look at the metamorphosis from mm -hmm. um, caterpillar to butterfly, yeah. mm -hmm. that bit in the middle when they're, you know, you, the, they're in the pupa, 
Once mm-hmm. they get into the pupa, there is no going back. No. So either mm-hmm. do it or don't do it or just get stuck. Or disintegrate. That's and so funny. the accelerate. <laughs> Sorry. Go ahead. I guess they accelerate your empathic potential is all about discovering new levels of your limitless uh, purpose as an empathic yes. leader. Yes. And what I'd like to do, if I may, is I'd like to mm-hmm. share something I received this morning from someone yes, who please. is now on they're on day 24 of the 30 day challenge. Wow, wow, wow. I'm so grateful. What a shift. I'm owning my awesomeness so I can share all of me with others. I can't Mm. thank you enough. World, watch out. I'm here to really live my purpose and to create a legacy of leaders to stand tall as I am, now standing Mm. tall myself. The universe Mm. sent you to me, your extraordinary thank you. Actually, she's extraordinary because she has embraced the principles and the practice within the book and she is making it her own. And that's been done in just over three weeks. Right. That is amazing. Oh, wow. That's that's an accelerated impact, right? (laughs) It certainly is. And I... I've just published, I haven't got a copy of it yet, it hasn't arrived in time, is Soaring to New Heights as an Empath. Because I think that once people get to the place where they are really accelerating, it's useful to have some help to maintain the momentum. And so Soaring to New Heights is there to help people maintain the momentum because the best self of today is your foundation of your new best self tomorrow and next week mm-hmm. and the following week. So this is this is not a one time and you're done. This is an ongoing no, right? evolution. Absolutely. And so it's about deepening it and widening it, uh, mm-hmm. but taking charge of it. And all of our books are designed to help you, the empath, take charge of your destiny really, and to mm-hmm. really fulfill your divine purpose. So, um, I'm very thrilled with that feedback and I hope that if you're listening that you're uh, going to recognize that you too can have that sort of shift very quickly. Absolutely, absolutely. I I, thank you so much for sharing that and I love what you just said about you know this can be anyone's for the taking. It's not just about you know just specific people. It is about who is going to step up and really embrace the experience but also realize the importance of the timing and that it is time to to accelerate and when we align with the acceleration that is aligning us with the truth of who we are Um, and there's just no better way to be in this experience than to be in um, in full alignment and being able to um, as Brenda was mentioning, to you know, allow the process to be one really of ease and flow because it's something that's already mm-hmm. happening. <laughs> so if it's already happening, you kind of want to be in partnership, you know, with the experience it's, versus trying to go against it or, or, or cling yes. on to something else. Uh, you brought up uh, the, the metamorphosis aspect and and um, in reference to you know some of the teachings that I do in that that area and going back to what I was mentioning about the empathic encoding and the the new empathic encoding. And you're right, when you're in the metamorphosis, because within the chrysalis, the the cocoon experience, in the middle, it's an unformed um, substance. And so you can't definitely go back to being a caterpillar for sure. And I kind of made the uh, comment about, you know, in the middle, you're going to move forward, you're going to disintegrate in a sense. And, and, um, and that actually is so. It's it's and because even within the caterpillar to the butterfly experience, you know, um, every caterpillar is encoded to become a butterfly. But every caterpillar doesn't become a butterfly even when they enter into the cocoon experience. Why is this? Well, some don't survive the um, the breakdown to form into something mm-hmm. else. In the human butterfly experience, the empathic. Um, evolutionary butterfly experience, what happens is that empaths don't, they can get into the process that's happening anyway, um, but then don't ultimately sync up into what the new encoding is, which is a new entity. That's why we know a caterpillar um, 
doesn't become a bigger caterpillar, it becomes a completely different entity. And that is what empaths are here to do, is to become a different entity and expression of the empathic experience. And, and that's what we're bringing about and going through the, the metamorphosis so that others become metamorphosized, they have to accelerate in their evolution by getting into, focusing into that new, um, yeah, the new uh, code and that, that part of their encoding because that's what's going to evolutionize them into this new, um, you know, this new entity. And that's a whole nother work and, and tour too that you, know, you all will be a part yeah. of as well. Um, so I want to uh, share some works of mine, and I just want to thank you both, you know, for sharing yours and also just, uh, you know, the words of uh, empowerment and the importance of this. And, of course, Gina, um, after I share mine and see if Brenda has anything else she would like to add, I'm going to have you to once again to close us out. So okay. um, with the times being what they are, for sure, um, I would like to actually – share three uh, works of mine as it relates to the acceleration um, process. And so uh, the first one is a call to acceleration for empathic influencers. Um, this is all about the art of embodying a new empathic leaderpreneur expression to step into a higher call to service. It is actually a self audit and uh, an action planner because Right now, there is this higher calling, and uh, both of these queens here, we, we've been doing different teachings, you know, together uh, about this importance and the, the timing, and it is really time for empaths to start taking their rightful positions to serve at a higher level uh, to the masses and in a variety of ways, leveraging their creative expression and from what I teach, this is something that's carried out through high-end uh, services. And so it is time really for empaths to start accelerating this uh, higher calling so that they can make a difference in the world and uh, especially in uh, the business marketplace in this new era because a lot of empaths are being called to um, that specific focus. And so something I do want to bring up that I talk about in different teachings is that empaths um, are really hardwired, especially the influencers. They're really hardwired for high-level services. And that's why my emphasis has been on them stepping more into what I call your new high-end calling and doing this as a leaderpreneur and having the combination of leadership and entrepreneurship um, really helps that higher service awareness to be there to make this um, greater impact, but also... Uh, the income as well, and some of the formats that I talk about is um, having these lighter ascension frameworks, um, which are just lighter business models, um, you know, that they shift into to be able to serve at a higher capacity. And so that's just uh, one of them that I want to share in the accelerated um, aspect. Uh, the next one is the new high-end empathic preneur accelerator. It's a high-end discovery uh, journal and video training action planner for accelerated impact uh, entrepreneurs. And this really is about a discovery process and it has uh, videos and also an accelerated uh, action planner section really for helping impact to design um, these new levels. And we, you know, we talked about new levels actually in our last um, uh, call. Um, these different new levels of purpose and, and power, potential, and just in their entrepreneurial success. Uh, the third one is uh, the new high-end empathic leaderpreneur acceleration factor. It is an introduction to discovering your higher call to service as a leading empathic influencer. And what this particular work is, it is a VIP day acceleration uh, workspace planner. Uh, the core objective or the goal, if you will, for this particular experience is really about um, helping empaths to be able to understand uh, the basics, um, the first fundamentals to discovering their higher empathic call 
you know, to this higher level of service and how they level up in their roles as an influencer and also um, the leaderpreneur functionality that I touched on, you know, earlier. And so this work also does have um, some videos and it's trainings of new high-end models that I teach and the ones that are certainly going to best support uh, the empathic leaderpreneur um, mission and experiences they, they move forward. So this is an opportunity also for them to customize and uh, create kind of their best uh, guided VIP day, you know, experience. So whatever success strategies they come up with is going to be customized, but it's going to be in an accelerated format. And that's what it's all about, the uh, acceleration in the now. So those are just um, works that I wanted to share. Something I want to say real quick before uh, Gina comes and closes us out is that you know, she, she mentioned um, on the last call, I think she alluded to it even this one, that, you know, our works, they, they work together really like a hand in glove and um, being able to best prepare yourself at all of these different levels is extremely important. So understanding that you have the potential that's there, but that potential needs to be accelerated. And that is what uh, Gina's work was alluding to and that powerful testimony that she shared, it just uh, speaks volumes to what can happen when empaths apply themselves and allow the acceleration, you know, to, you know, to take place. And then also with, with Brenda, having the awakening and waking up to more of the acceleration and understanding, as she said, where we are and what's going on, you know, planetary wise and everything, finding your alignment and then starting to allow yourself to move in the new energy is very important. And then just in what I've been sharing, you know, something that Gina has talked about uh, in several of our calls is about that greater sense of purpose. And as you evolve as an impact, your purpose will evolve. And so, um, what I've shared is really about the evolution of what the new impact should be showing up, how a new impact should be showing up as a leader and in this influential way, leveraging the entrepreneurial, you know, aspect. And it is a very different framework, but um, we're building the whole of a new impact so that there is the metamorphosis that takes place. So I wanted to just um, kind of share that uh, before we, we close out. And so I'm thankful, of course, uh, for these uh, wonderful ladies um, and us in our collaboration. So uh, before Gina closes out, Brenda, do you have any final words? Yeah, I, I, what I really like about the work that we're doing together, this collaboration, is that it, it's not heavy. It's not heavy on new information. What, we, what right. we honor within this is that people have the answers within themselves. That's right. All of this lives within them. It's not hard work. It's just that we've never been taught how to do this. We've been taught that wisdom comes from outside of ourselves and has to be poured into us and not that it's living within us and just has right. to be released. It has to be extracted and, from our, yeah, from our encoding. Right. Exactly. It's there. It, it, it mm -hmm. resides there. So I, I love that this work is it's not simple. That's often it's like a question a day for people to ponder and yes, right. look at. But what it does when it focuses the light on one aspect is it mm -hmm. shuts up the noise that is coming in around it. Mm. And actually focus on that one question and look at where mm -hmm. it lives within them and you know where it's stuck and what's stopping that from coming forth. Right. And right. I, think, I think it's just a brilliant process. People don't have time. They, they, Time is, has accelerated. It is mm -hmm. moving so fast. People don't have time to be reading hundreds of pages of information right. to try to extract those little nuggets. And this is just like right there for them. Oh, that was brilliantly stated. I love the way you, you um, I'm so glad you brought that up because that is the overall arching goal of what we all do. And, and even the way that, as you both know, that I, you know, teach in terms of 
how we should be writing in the formats is because individuals and particularly empaths, you know, that need to own their energy more don't need to be inundated with a lot of the outside stuff. We, no. we provide enough to evoke and stimulate trigger mechanics so that it can bring forth the, the wisdom and not just, you know, wisdom that has just been there um, sort of buried in a sense, but it's new wisdom. It's, it's the new encoding and then married with um, some of the current or previous things in an evolutionary experience. And so you're right, the work that we do together um, provides this experience for others. And it is in a very simplistic um, way. I, I think it, it would take effort to actually make this a big deal, you know? <laughs> it, 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 you know. <laughs> That's right. Most in past, I mean, they, yeah. you know, can find a way to do that. But, um, yeah. but the reality yeah. is, is that it is, like you mentioned, it is a very simple format and it is the way of the new world. It is that we are not here to take on so much, but to bring forth that, you know, which is already there. So thank you, Queen Gina. Yeah. <laughs> you know, acceleration requires uh, momentum. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that strikes me is that if you stand still, in reality, you're going backwards because everybody else is moving forwards. Mm -hmm. And when you stand still, um, it's really difficult to actually get going again. But once you have some momentum, mm -hmm. it's much easier to accelerate that momentum Absolutely. and to move forward. Right. And I would say to you, you know, you're watching this, listening to this for a reason. You know, listen to what it's actually offering you that you are an amazing human being. You have so much to offer. And the only thing that's actually gonna get in the way is you. So it is time to embrace your power as an empath. And you know, we've, we are offering you a very easy, um, sequential structured way to help you accelerate and to create the momentum that you require to be the very best version of you. So thank you very much for joining us. And I do hope that you're going to join us in the next uh, video, but yeah. please take action. Thanks very much. Bye-bye now.